The Drummond 3000 is cheaper, but the Drummond 4000 is more powerful. And that is the main difference between the two tools. But there are so many differences that you won't notice before you actually get your hands on the tools and get to use them. So in this video, I want to show you all the differences between the two tools so you can know which one is the right one for you. Let's get started with design. There is many similarities in the design of the two tools. Both have the easy twist nose cap at the front, the shaft lock button is in the same place, and both have a hook that you can use to hang up the tool when you want to use the flex shaft. But the first big difference you will notice is at the power button and the speed control. The Dremel 4000 has a separate speed control and power button. So you have to actually turn on the tool and then you can adjust the speed. And here you can also see the exact amount of RPMs the tool is running at. So right now I'm at 30,000 RPMs. On the Dremel 3000, the speed control and the power button is the same button, or it's actually a slider. So you actually have to push the slider down to turn on the tool. And here the RPMs go in five different stages instead of the accurate amount you can see on the Dremel 4000. Personally, I like the speed control on the Dremel 4000 better because you can turn it on and off and keep the exact amount of RPM that you were using before. The Dremel 3000 weighs 467 grams. I will put up some freedom units for you Americans on the screen. And the Dremel 4000 weighs 554 grams, so it's a little bit heavier. But with both of these tools I recommend using the Dremel flex shaft if you're going to use them for longer sessions. A great thing about the Dremel 3000 is that you can change the brushes from the outside of the tool. On the Dremel 4000 you actually have to take apart the tool to change the brushes. Another big difference is how the shaft lock button is designed. We use the shaft lock button when we want to lock the shaft to change our bits. But to see the difference we have to go inside of the tools. So here is the shaft lock of the Dremel 4000. When we want to lock the shaft we press this shaft lock button that has this little pin down here. And that goes into any of these four slots right here. The metal on these slots can be worn down over time or by accidentally pressing the shaft lock button while the tool is running. Uh, and I know a lot of people have had problems with the shaft lock button getting stripped around here and are then unable to basically change bits. But this has not happened to mine yet, but I can see it has started to wear down a little bit around the edges. And the pin down here is also really small, so it doesn't go that far into the hole. And also one thing, the Dremel 3000 is a lot easier to disassemble than the Dremel 4000. On the Dremel 4000, these are the grooves that the shaft lock button goes into. As you can see, there are a lot more of them, and the shaft lock button goes deeper into the groove. So it's a lot harder to wear down the shaft lock button on the Dremel 4000. The biggest advantage the Dremel 3000 has over the 4000 is that it is cheaper. Now it is usually about 20 to 30% cheaper than the Dremel 4000. And this is one of the main reasons why people might consider getting a Dremel 3000. Both Dremel models can use the same attachments that the Dremel brand makes. There are also many off-brand attachments that are being made that will fit the Dremel 3000 and Dremel 4000. Because they use the same threads as the Dremel. One of the most noticeable differences between the two tools in use is the power. The Dremel 3000 will struggle a little bit more if you have to force it through the cut or you have to pressure the tool a little bit. And you can actually hear the motor struggling during the cut. But the Dremel 3000 still has a strong motor and we shouldn't really force our cuts. But you will notice the difference in power between using the different models. And now we're going to do a stress test so we can see the difference in power between both tools. I'm going to cut 8 screws with each of the tools. I'm going to set the RPM to max and both tools are going to use these new SC409 metal cutting discs so it's a fair game.
As you can see, both the Model 3000 and 4000 made it through the screws without any problem at all. I didn't even feel that much of a power difference between the two tools, so the Dremel 3000 is still powerful enough to do most of the tasks you want to do with your rotary tool, it's just a little bit weaker. But when it comes to it, both models are good rotary tools. I would recommend getting the Dremel 3000 if you're just gonna use it once in a while and don't want to invest too much money on a rotary tool. But my favorite between the two is the Dremel 4000 just because of that extra bit of power you get and the better designed speed control and power button. And I will of course leave a link to all the tools used in this video down in the description below. That was about it for today, see you next time.